Hello traders out there in Traderland. My name is Dez here at Grok Trade on Thursday, May 31st, 2012. Stocks slide yet again. Before we get into this, thank you, Mark the Meerkat Suffering, for st sitting in for me while I took my family out to a midweek camping trip, which was awesome. Anyway, Dow down 26 points, down 0.2%. The S&P down 0.23%. The Nasdaq down 0.35%. The Russell's at break even. We have the banks up quite a bit, 0.65% given buoyancy to what we're seeing up here in the major indices. And the VIX down a tick, 0.33% in the red. And gold down again, 0.2%. And silver down 0.6%. Crude oil down a whopping 1.24%. So commodities continue to get hammered and you have the US dollar slightly in positive territory and taking a look here at the markets looks like we had some news come out um, not so good news ADP came out uh, for their job change only came out at 133 so 133,000 the market thought we'd be at 165,000 and or I'm sorry the market thought 150 57,000, but the briefing forecast said 165,000, but only coming in at 133,000? Ouch. Furthermore, get this. We expected a 2.0% on the GDP. We didn't get that. We got a 1.9. That could be problematic. That was for the first quarter. Interesting to see. Tomorrow we have the big unemployment rate number coming out 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, one hour before the markets open. All eyes will be on that. So let's take a look here at the technical analysis. What we have here is this monster run. I'm going to take this line, move this up right there to that swing high. Had this pop, now we're dropping. We have two consecutive lower highs, two consecutive lower lows. So we are dropping here. So we had this major drop, we have this little bear pullback, and now we're starting the second leg. Will the next leg be as long as this one? Maybe, maybe not, but we have significant support coming up with these major trend lines coming across in the rising 200 day moving average. But this is what's interesting to me is this big long lower shadow. It's what you'll see if I go to a 60 minute chart here, in the morning hours we dropped, but all afternoon we started going higher. But in the last few moments of the day, let me go to a five minute chart, you can see a major sell off taking place in the last half hour of the day or so. So uh, we had this inverted head and shoulders, shoulder, head and shoulder on a five minute chart. We go into an uptrend and then a big, big sell off. But nonetheless, we did have this rally. If I go back to the daily chart, the rally is signified with this long up lower shadow going uh, northbound. However, in the last few minutes, a big southbound drop. But this is what we're ending with. The question is, will this be a support area and will it rally? And if it does, this will be a double bottom right here double bottom w for winter wonderful or wow <laughs> and it, we could start heading back north but this trend line gain coming across is all i should be on that this is going back into april right here april 2011 and you go over right here to july 2011 and we go across and right here you can see a lot of resistance and support and this is in 2012 at the beginning of the year and then we come across support with that shadow and this is in May and here we are here in deep part of May and wrap, wrapping up a month so for the month this is where we're at if I go to a weekly chart you can see on the weekly chart we do have a bounce taking place higher high higher low on the week so this is an up leg that is beginning but it's kind of a bearish looking one because it is a red candlestick but it's staying above a big time trend line if I go back Gang, this this thing goes back 2007 on a weekly chart. We come over here, look at this big resistance. We popped it, but we're trying to find support at it. So it, if it breaks that, we're in a lot of trouble. And then on the monthly, we found major support. We did go below this trend line, so it didn't surprise me. We rallied today, the end of the month, because we have resistance here resistance here to we were below it trying to find support the rising 20 month moving average but we rallied back above so here's the big question going into june will it crack that level of resistance if we close lower than that trend line i would say push all in on the short side because we're in a lot of trouble right now i'm a quarter position a quarter of all my positions are short and i'm holding 
nothing but cash at this moment. I do not want to be long this environment. However, if we do get a bounce here and we start to rally, I may want to start to put up some longs at this moment, but we're in the confines of a large rising wedge, which could be problematic to the markets as a whole. So anyway, hey, this is your chance to come be a part. Let me, let Mark, let us teach you how to trade. So quit losing money in the markets finally wake up and get yourself some formalized trading education and the best way of doing it is doing it live so um, do it in Vegas and this is the first time and only time we're doing this in Vegas if you are going to come to Vegas and meet with us it is a two for one so you can bring a spouse or a friend and be and they can join you at no extra charge for the very best of trading education that's through mentoring here at Brock Trade. Take care and safe trading.